Hey, it's Brian Goulet of the Goulet Pen Company and InkNouveau.com. It's a Fountain Pen 101 video today on how to refill an ink cartridge. Something I've touched on in videos in the past, but I want to show you uh, the best and easiest way to do it. So let's go for it. One good thing about cartridge converter pens is that they have the ability to use a cartridge or a converter. The converter is used for bottled ink, but the cartridge has come preloaded with ink. It's a kind of convenient way to go about it. But the biggest problem you have with cartridges is that you're limited to whatever manufacturer the cartridge uh, offers as far as ink uh, color and availability goes. So if you want to use an ink that's only available in bottled form or if it's available in a, another brand that doesn't make the cartridge that fits your particular pen, you need to do exactly what I'm going to show you right now, which is flushing it out and refilling it. So, uh, things you're going to need is water. I would do this at the sink, but it doesn't film very well. So I've got a cup of water and an empty cup to dispose. Uh, I've got my empty ink cartridge, which is, uh, I've run out of ink, so it's a dirty ink cartridge. Um, I've got two syringes here. You really only need one, but two is kind of nice because when you flush out the ink with one and refill with another, uh, you won't have to worry too much about contamin cross-contamination and stuff like that of the ink in the water. So um, that's going to make things a little convenient. So um, the first thing you're going to want to do is take your cartridge uh, and one of your syringes. You're going to want at least, uh, this is a standard international cartridge, which is about as short as the cartridges get. You're going to want at least uh, an inch and a half long needle. Now these are blunt tip needles. Um, these, those are the best kind. You can use like diabetic needles or something like that, but you got to be really careful with those. I tend not to recommend to use those. Uh, just, you know, use your own discretion. But anyway, um, I've also got a two inch long needle here, which is good. Uh, really the reason you want such a long needle is because when you're flushing, if you get to the back of the cartridge, it's going to make your life a lot easier. So I'm going to take the syringe and I'm going to fill it with water. This particular syringe holds about six milliliters of water. Um, the amount of volume that this particular cartridge holds is about a half a milliliter. Um, so you can see I get that needle all the way back in there. I'm going to try to do it without making too much of a mess here, but I have a roll of paper towels off screen here to help me out. Um, normally if you're at the sink you could do this upside down, but I'm afraid I'm going to get water all over my desk if I do that. So really you just want to kind of flush and get water all through that cartridge. You can see here as I'm doing it that it's it's diluting it quite a bit. There we go. And you're going to need to do it a few times to make sure that it's completely clear. Now, you, one of the things you may be wondering is do you need to clean it with any kind of solution or bleach or anything like that? Not usually. I mean, if you get a particularly stubborn ink in your cartridge, you may need to take some further steps to clean it out. But usually, just water will do it as long as it hasn't like completely dried and crusted up inside the cartridge. Okay, I'm getting a little water everywhere, but it's easier if you do it at the sink and not in a cup. Okay, so I flushed it through and that's about as clean as it is going to get. Um, so one thing that kind of helps is if you then take and suck kind of the clean water back out of there. Um, you're going to have just a little bit of water left inside your cartridge. Um, but one thing that can kind of help with that, you can either let it sit out and dry, which if you have a bunch of cartridges and you want to kind of rotate them out, that's one thing you can do. Uh, another thing I, I usually do is just take a paper towel like this and just kind of tap uh, with the open end down and that's going to get you know just about all the water out of here. I mean fountain pen ink is water based so if there's like a tiny little bit of water down in there it's really not going to hurt anything. You can put your ink in there and uh, it's, it's not going to noticeably affect the, the properties of your ink. Okay so now I need an ink which I'm going to grab a bottle of Noodler's Black here because that's, you know, pretty, pretty common staple ink. Um, do need to clean up my mess here. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to take my other syringe just because I've made my life a little bit easier uh, with the, with the um, second syringe. Uh, and I'm going to fill it up with the black. Not really fill because this thing only fits about a half a milliliter. Okay. Now all you do is take the syringe, stick it in here, 
you fill it up slowly and you don't want to fill it up all the way to the brim because you're going to be um, if you do that then you're more likely to have some spillage coming out as you put it into your pen um, I disassembled the pen off screen here but uh, this is my pen and when you put it in unlike a normal cartridge when it's when it's uh, sealed there's no ball here to seal this thing shut so if you turn it upside down you might get ink everywhere so you're going to want to keep the cartridge pointed up and then just kind of snap it in place there and then you essentially have just taken uh, and Noodler's ink is a good one to demo because it's not available in cartridge form. So now I've just taken and refilled a cartridge with a bottled ink and I can go on and write to my heart's content. One thing you may be wondering is can you buy empty cartridges by themselves for the purposes of filling? you may be able to find some out there. There's a few sellers I've seen before on like eBay and stuff, but most manufacturers of uh, ink cartridges are not going to sell empty cartridges apart from their pen. So you'll either need to buy cartridges, uh, sorry, empty cartridges apart from their ink. Um, you'll either need to buy full ink cartridges and use them and then keep them, or maybe you can look on a place like the Fountain Pen Network and see if, you know, anybody's got a stockpile or wants to trade, you know, empty cartridges or something like that. So, um, you know, you can reuse them quite a few times. So, I mean, you don't need a whole lot of them, but um, that is something I get asked, so I just thought I'd answer that. Hope this video was helpful for you on refilling an ink cartridge. If you have any questions, you can always email me at brianagoulaypens.com. Thanks for watching, and right on.